really need to get my eyes checked. <laughs> you do better than I do. You you think? Oh, yeah. I literally everything's blurry. Have you ever seen me without these <laughs> ever? Hi guys. <laughs> yeah, and you just yeah, you're 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 good like that. I have I to just, cook with these. Okay, I can't even see. I have to cook. Yeah, I'm like at the grocery store. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> just, we're talking about reading glasses. <laughs> I um, how we can't live without them. <laughs> oh my gosh, we can't. <laughs> Happy Monday. Last Monday of October. Is it? Oh, we have yeah. daylight savings. Yo, we talked about that before. And we were really... so wrong. You were like, weeks ago, you started talking this about that. This is really it. You said that before. I'm buying it. Okay. I'm telling you, it's really not. It's not this weekend. It's going to be next weekend. Really? Isn't this weekend like the 31st? I don't know. I don't know. When's daylight right. savings, guys? Settle this dispute. <laughs> Settle the dispute. We, me and G are, are disagreeing. <laughs> I know it's coming up, but I think we talked about it before. We were way off bat base. We were, yeah. we were, we were clearly not correct. <laughs> so, um, hi guys, happy uh, Monday! It's the last Monday of October, and we're here for another letters from Spirit, and I'm um, with Gia. Hi guys, <laughs> Gia's in the house, and um, so she's here today. It's her last day here. It is. Yep. It yep, is. we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Yep. Boo. I'm, I'm peacing out, but I won't be too far. Peacing out. I'm peacing out. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. So uh, today's letter is um, titled, um, "What's on your calendar?" <laughs> so um, that was a sweet little letter. So we're gonna read that in a few minutes. I'm just gonna wait for a few people to hop on we and start um, doing a little bit of a roll call as they're hopping on. Yeah, sure. Let's do some and, roll um, call. A lot, of, a lot of you guys already know the drill. They tell us where they're from. So <laughs> if you haven't, just just yay! Tell us you know guys where are you're awesome. Because I like to call it out so Monica knows. Yes, I want to hear because um, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> and I do. And you do. Okay. Go. All right. Let's see. First up, we've got Michaela, and she says she is new here. So first hey, time. Michaela, how are you, honey? Where is she from? She has not said yet. She oh. didn't know the drill, but now she'll probably let us know. Yeah, let so. us know where you're from. I just want to know where you're chiming in yeah. from. Um, let's see. Joyce says, hi, Monica and everyone. Hey, Joyce. Tracy Zuccaro. Hi, Monica. How are you? Hey, Tracy. How are you, honey? Nice to see you. Carrie. Hey, Monica. Hey. Uh, Paula. Hi, Monica and Gia. Paula's in Houston. Hey, Paula. Beautiful Paula. How are you, honey? And then we've got Anne from New York State. Hey, Ann. How you doing? And we've got Gidget, upstate New York. Hey, Gidget. How you doing, honey? Upstate. It's getting chilly, huh? Starting to get cool? Yeah, we need that. It was chilly here this morning. It was. It was that. really cold here. There's a big fire going on. You see the smoke coming in? Yes. Crazy. Yes. I, I don't I, I don't smell it from my house, I but smell. I see the smoke, but it was mm -hmm. really cold this morning. Yep. Uh, okay. Tracy's in New Jersey. Hey, Tracy. Uh, Pam is on from Illinois. Hey, Pam. And, Thank oh, you. Michaela is from England. Hi, Michaela, that's honey. The, how are you? First time. You're Remember, from England. from England. Aren't you tired? You don't want to be sleeping? You are you? Do you have insomnia? I had insomnia like last week, like three times last week. I couldn't go to sleep. Ugh. It's me every night. So that's good. If you if, <laughs> so welcome, honey. Thanks for chiming in. We've got Lindsay. Hi, Monica and hey, Gia, Lindsay. North Carolina. Hi, Lindsay. Um, Joyce Winnetka. Hey, Win Winnetka. Miss Winnetka. Bonnie, hello from New York. Got a few New Yorkers on. Hey, Bonnie, oh. how are you? Found out my son is actually, good, I think, going to be getting married in New York. So they're finalizing everything oh, right good. now. So it looks like next summer in New York. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah, Gidget said, yeah, it's cold and wet. Cold and wet. Yeah, yeah it's raining. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got, see, we've got Joyce, hi, Monica, and Gia. Hey. I'm sure we got some more joining on, but yay. Kind of caught up for now. I mean, what do you, oh, yeah, good. <laughs> okay. Oh, so. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry, I'm cutting you off. <laughs> Michaela says it's only 12. She can never sleep at night. I love the moon. Oh, it's only 12. It's okay, only good. To, okay, you love the moon. Yeah, I love that too. And sometimes isn't it nice to just have the house completely quiet and the whole town around you is quiet and it's just you with the moon and just that chill vibe. I love that too. That's sometimes that's why I like to get up so early in the morning. It's yeah. the same kind of vibe. Quiet. Yeah, it's super quiet and you have that full moon. Yeah. I love that. I totally get that. Okay, so the question is, yes. what part of New York? Gidget wants to know what part of, are they getting Manhattan? Yeah. Where are they going to Yeah, be? There, um, there is this, uh, oh boy. Okay, no, there's 
this uh, botanical gardens that's really beautiful. I think it's actually in the Bronx. Oh, cool. um, and then they're looking at some river house place that's in Brooklyn. And they want to do the welcome dinner in Manhattan on a rooftop. That's my job, by that's the way. That's on you. That's on me. That's on you. <laughs> I got I to create a whole um, uh, wow. welcome dinner um, in Manhattan. Oh, you'll love it. Oh, yeah. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. I, love it. I don't want to say I told you so, but I am going to win this one. Uh, Pamela said November 1st, 2 a.m. It is going to be the time change. And so it's 2 a.m.? It's 2, what, 2 a.m.? So that, what, November that, 1st. Sunday, which is really Saturday night. Okay. Go to bed, so. November 1st. Yeah. Just okay. over. I was actually All right, right cool. this time. Okay, good. All right, good. It's <laughs> all the mystery. We were just wrong three weeks ago. Well, we definitely were. <laughs> we were a little, like, confused. Yes. It happens. <laughs> so, um, well, did you guys have a good weekend? Did you guys have a good time? I was in Las Vegas. I know. I was just you had just gotten back from Texas. I know. We haven't seen each other. No, because you came back from to, from Texas and then I took off. That's right. Yeah. So we like we passed. Yeah. Within a few days, but yeah. And you enjoyed Vegas. Loved. Yeah. yeah. Love Vegas. It was it was great. Yeah, I love the energy of that city and um, it was it was fun. Yeah, had some great dinners. Yeah, you got some, I would say you there, got some good restaurants. Yeah, too. there's this restaurant that's in the wind that has a whipped vanilla ice cream. These whipped vanilla ice cream. Yum. OMG. <laughs> I was like, this is this should be illegal. <laughs> it's so Ooh, good. It was really good. good. Yeah, it really was. How was the weather? It's getting cold there now, too. It was beautiful. It was in the 80s. Really? Yeah. It was in the huh. 80s. Yeah. I didn't have a jacket the whole time. It was good. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so uh, what'd you guys do? Anything fun? You guys do anything fun this well, weekend? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what they let us know. Default Gidget said, fun for you. My Aunt Caroline lived yeah. on the Upper East Side, yeah. but she's near Montreal in the Arirondack Mountains. Arirondack Mountains. And I'm not familiar. Are you? No. Mm -mm. No. I'm sure it's not that familiar out there. I'm sure the kids are. You know, yeah. they live out there. Um, I just, it's, I'm not privy to it, but I'm sure it's gorgeous. So, um, lovely. So, um, you know. Have any do any of you guys sign in on my uh, my new Facebook Live on Thursdays? That's um, called Short Stories with Monica. Did any of you guys um, chime in for that one last week on Thursday? I did my first one I on know, I Thursday. Missed it. I missed yeah, it. Yeah, you were, you're, you're busy moving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, you'll catch some. I'll be, but you know, I'll be in the car, so I will catch it. I'll be on the road this Thursday, so I will. Okay, yeah, chime in. yeah, chime in. We're gonna keep the action short, but um, I thought they're gonna be fun. Did anybody anybody on here? Uh, do my my short stories that was last week anyway it's going to come up again this thursday so this thursday at five o'clock um pacific time i'm going to do short stories and what i'm doing is just sharing stories um from readings that i've done because um i really want to share the beautifulness the beautifulness is that a word beautifulness the beauty the beauty of the spirit world and how they um create healing for clients and so what better way than to share a story to help you understand how the spirit world work and how your loved ones come in to help lift your heart and so i thought share stories so that's what i'm going to do well you definitely had some people. tracy was yeah. on it said it was awesome okay good um joyce gidget missed it but pamela mm -hmm. said she, yes loved good connie said yes um good carrie said very moving so yeah sounds oh, like good okay good so we have some in perfect That's cool so wonderful so um every thursday at five o'clock i don't know how long we'll do it maybe just for the end of the year or i don't know we'll just see but i thought it would be kind of fun to do so uh, a little bit different than letters from spirit which is tonight so um tonight we're going to talk about our letter from the guides do we have anything we need to talk about before we get going because i promised i'd make these shorter um let's see here you just went over the short stories yep. let's talk so short stories short stories every How, thursday 5 p.m pacific time I, on my facebook i noticed you added two more small i asked you before you added two yes. more small group readings yes. how's that going yes and, i added yeah. two more small group readings last week um because uh the other ones sold out very quickly i had a few people that emailed me asking to um if i could be on a wait if they could be on a wait list for small groups but i really don't get any people that um you know, bow out of small group readings. And so that usually never happens. So um, I just opened up two more. So it's going to be a Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be November, Saturday, November 7th mm -hmm. from 5 to 6.30 and Sunday, uh, November 8th from 4 to 6.30. And I think there's like three tickets or mm -hmm. three or four tickets left on um, each one, I think. You have three on Saturday. I have three on Saturday and left and four. four on Sunday. Yes, yeah, so I have three on Saturday, four on Sunday. I still left, so if you guys are interested, you can just go to my, um, I'm in this uh, post up here, you're gonna see um, a link if you uh, read the 
the description of this post, you'll see my website and just click on it, go to my upcoming events page and uh, you'll see the uh, group readings that are on the 7th and 8th. You can get a ticket. Okay, so it's going to be um, nice and um, I'm not sure if I'm doing any in December because uh, December is kind of hectic. So I'm not sure if I'll have time to do any. So th these might be the last ones for the year. Um, so if you guys are interested, um, you can get your tickets. Okay, I'm and not as, sure about December. As always, if they want to do yeah. private reading, that's also on yes. the website. Yes. Where they can find and again, it. go to my website, monicatrollings.com. You can get a private reading with me by going to book a personal reading. Um, go to that page. It's all on my menu page. Yeah. So wonderful. Okay. So um, we have a So everybody. Your yeah. book. You were telling me about your book. Oh, you, yeah. you want to share that? Yeah. Yeah. After the letter. Oh, oh it's after. Yeah. Okay. After the letter. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not my book. but <laughs> <laughs> I knew what. Although I have a book that's coming out if it ever gets out of publishing. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like it's been sitting in editing forever. I mean, <sighs> taking forever. Anyway, so not my book, a different book, but we'll share. Okay, so um, let's get into the letter, I think, right? And also, guys, just want you to know that this is Gia's last day here. Gia is moving to Texas, so she is going to San Antonio, Texas, and so um, she's going to start a wonderful new life. She's going to build a beautiful home. She um, has a wonderful new life adventure um, that she is embracing and stepping into. She has a son that lives there, and her and her husband are um, heading out that way, so they leave this week. So this is her last day with us here. So let's just have, take a moment and just kind of send her some hearts. Um, oh, just give her some sweet. hearts and like little send her some love um, for her wonderful new courageous move across the country um, uh, with her two doggies. Oh yeah, <laughs> with her two doggies in tow. So it's going to be amazing, and I wish you so much Thank love you. and happiness, Gia, Thank because. You. You deserve it, um, and it's going to be amazing. Thank so, you. And, you, and you know what? You're not going to bring me. It. I will be on your Monday <laughs> night. I will. Be, I will still be coming, calling in on your Monday night. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Or joining in. Yes, love Here it. Here we go with the calling in again. Here we go. Joining in. Okay, so let's do our letter. So, all right. So the letter is um, titled "What's on Your Calendar." So for you guys that are new, Edgar are my guides. There's a collective group of them. There's several, there's about 10, 11. Um, and uh, they are a collective group. They go by one name, Edgar, and their purpose and desire is to help us forward, help guide us to a better feeling place, help guide us to um, living a life with more joy, with more ease, and to get us to see ourselves in a deeper way that is truer to our essence, um, which is love. And so um, that's what they're all about. So they're um, teaching. So every week there's a new letter. I channel it. Um, sometimes I voice channel it. Sometimes they write through me. Um, we wrote a book together, Destination Self. You can find it on Amazon, um, Destination Self. And the book was written by the guides and I channeled the entire book with them. Um, they're lovely. I love them to pieces. They have changed my life. And I use so much of their teachings in my work and um, in my day-to-day -day life. So they have been very transformational for me and they are for my clients that see me for spiritual coaching sessions and all of that. Um, okay, so today's title, What's on Your Calendars? Good morning, Edgar. What do you wish to share for this upcoming Letters from Spirit? Indeed, we smile here now as we are given the opportunity to once again be with you and to be here with all joining in for our guidance our teachings, our way to shine light towards your wellness. We say today we wish, we wish to touch upon the topic of calendars. Yes, calendars. Some of you now may wonder what we can say towards something so simple, something that you all are already understanding. Hmm. Are you using this calendar that you live by properly? Calendars are there, yes, to help you remember appointments, to keep you organized, and to help you arrange your days, your weeks, in your life. So many of you filling up the days and weeks with many things and others with no things at all. If you now could open up your calendars, what would you find? What would you see your coming week becoming for yourself? Are these activities placed within the days of things that give you joy? Are you looking at things you have put upon your calendar and feel excited about that day arriving into your experience? Is there anything placed onto your calendar that is specifically for you? We do not mean doctor's appointments. We do not mean dentist appointments. We mean a time logged out in your calendar 
for your personal wellness, for enjoyment, for pleasure, for peace. Is this on your calendar? We see you each being very good towards the doing each week of all your responsibilities. You have many and we understand the need to do them. Fill in your appointments with needs of things to get done. What must be taken care of? Priorities, we say. We say the biggest priority must always be about you. Do you forget that very important priority, yourself? Is that responsibility to yourself on your schedule? Is it in your calendar? Hmm, perhaps a few of you, a small percentage. We would very much like that percentage to rise much higher. Yes, it is so. Why? Why are you making your days and weeks filled with only time for responsibilities outside of yourself? and no play for your inner wellness. We have spoken in previous letters regarding the importance of play. Do you do it? We ask you to now ask yourself these questions. Why do I not play? Why do I not put play into my schedule? Why do I place play in my schedule for others, but not me? Why is the responsibility of my inner joy not accounted for in my daily or weekly appointments? Why do I not give myself the wellness appointment regularly? Why? What holds you away from giving yourself the time? We say you have all become very trained in utilizing and making a calendar for getting your things done, getting things handled, getting things accomplished. We ask you why you do not see your happiness as wellness and see the need that this too be necessary to get it done, to get it accomplished, and to get it handled. These should be your priorities as well. How are you handling your happiness? Are you making happiness a priority? Look at your calendar. It will tell you your own answer. Many say I'm too tired at the end of a day to do anything for me. We say, then start your day with yourself at the morning appointment when you are not tired. Some say, I have nothing I feel desire towards doing, so I do nothing. We say, then schedule time for yourself to be the one to seek, to seek things to find desire in, make the appointment to discover. We say, name the one hour, the discovery hour. Here, you can allow yourself time to play with ideas, look up vision boards, that others have created for themselves. Do you see anything you like or would enjoy on the boards of others? Have you ever looked? Can you create a happiness vision board for yourself? We say you can. This is yet another appointment in the week that can be added for yourself. A fun one as well, we say. To seek you shall find. Seek images that give you a happy stir within and create that image to your happy board. We very much enjoy visions for it is a way for you to see and from the scene you can have an emotion about it. This emotion stirs up the desires and this is how you may find more interests and this will create a wanting within you to do them. We wish you to look at your calendars with a new set of eyes, with the eyes of wellness, Create time each day or each week toward your wellness. We say it is very easy to get off the road of wellness when you follow a road that is titled my to-do list, when there is nothing on that list for your wellness at all. It is time to make yourself a better facilitator of your daily happiness. It is you, after all, who is in charge of your calendar and no one else. You hold the pen, you hold the day in your hands, and you also hold the calendar in your hands as well. It is time now to begin filling a week of more fun, filling the week of more things to get you excited, more things we say that allow you to be caring of your own well being. This can be in simple tasks. This must not ever need to be hard tasks. It is only hard when you become too far removed from the idea of wellness 
and you do not gift yourself the time to have it, you see. We say having it is a very good idea. It should always be on your to-do list, we say. We say get going towards creating new calendars for yourself, a calendar for your wellness. Add in what feels good and is for you and remove a bit of space apart things that are of burdens to you. By creating more time for yourself, you may look towards these burdens and responsibilities with fresher, newer eyes and see them as far more doable now than now that there is better balance that has been created in your daily and weekly life. We come today to say it is okay that until today, perhaps, you have done nothing in your calendar for your own happiness. It is that now you understand more and from this understanding, you will create more, more for you. And we are very much looking forward to seeing more of that. It is so, Edgar. So that is the letter on the calendar. And I thought even like when I was writing it through and it was coming through my calendar, like I stopped for a second. One. Yeah, I was like, what? Because, you know, they give you the, ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm like, what? Like it hit me and I was like, what the heck is this going to be? So I kept going. Good. But, um, you know, think about it though, because, and we have some lovely quotes I'm going to share with you in regards to it that I think is really cute. But, you know, whenever I do these letters and I read them and well, after they come through me and they, and they, 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 they give it for us, I always take it to heart because I'm always incorporating things that the guides talk about because I trust them and, um, they give such wonderful sound mm -hmm. advice and, you know, they're always trying to guide us to more joy and more ease in our life. And so um, I incorporate so many of these things for my clients and my readings in my my own personal life. Uh, and um, it's always made a difference. So in my calendar, so starting with me, I decided to do more reading. So this is a book I got. Wait, hold on. What's it called? Wait. Younger Next Year. Younger Next Year. So it's for women. It's pink, right? They have one for men, too but it's called Younger Next Week, no, not Younger Next Year. And it talks about how you can look five to 10 years younger up through your 80s and past. And these, it, the wonderful little pages, little chapter pages mm -hmm. about everything from exercise to eating, but also emotional connections that we need to have like with women, with other women. Right. And uh, it, it's a wonderful little book and it was highly recommended to me. And so I'm reading it. And uh, so that's going to be on my calendar. And this is what I'm going to do. So I'm sharing with you that I personally have decided to take some action. Right. And uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Have some more quiet time and just sit on the couch and actually read because I don't do enough of that. And so I want to make sure I incorporate that. I cannot tell you the last time I, I ever sat down and read a book. And I used to love to read too. But I bet there's probably... These gals on here probably read some really good books too. So it'd be interesting to know if, like, you know, it's a good yeah. network to share. If yeah, so, something really yeah. good. Yeah, and if that, you guys are yeah. reading, because like I, reading was like low on right. my list, just like you say, yeah. it's been low on yours. So I thought that's something I can incorporate because that would feel really good and I'll be learning and I can incorporate some of these things for my clients and, you know, and, yeah. and take away some things. So I thought that would be really good, but. I knew that was something I was missing in my calendar. So what about you guys? Is there something in your calendar that you could be adding? As the guide said, you know, what does your calendar look like for your upcoming week? Like, is it stuff to look forward to? Or do you have your wellness in your calendar? Have you made yourself the priority? Because that's what they're asking. Like they're saying, you know, we make priority of getting things done, get stuff done, get our responsibilities done. But are we making ourselves the priority? Are we on the calendar to make sure we do that appointment, the appointment for ourselves? And so we really do have to sometimes put it in your account. I know I do. And so this is going to start going in my calendar. I'm going to give myself an hour a day yeah. um, and just do some reading with myself. So what about you guys? And do you have any books? that you are reading that you really love because it's nice to share. A couple, so, couple little notes yeah, here. Yeah, let's see. Um, let's see. Tracy, and this is going to be an overall consensus, I'm sure. Yeah. I never have time for me, right? We, we all say that, <laughs> right. especially. Ah, you know, I have a quote for you. Yeah. Oh, it's coming. Okay. <laughs> I have a quote um, for you. <laughs> Paula says she's going to get that book. She says she's going to get it. Um, yeah. Um, I'll, it's by Chris. Hold on. It's by. Well, maybe show it again. Younger Next Year for Women. Wait, hold on. Well, it will. I'm yeah. a little delayed. Younger, younger next year for women. And it's by Chris Crowley and Henry S. Lodge, MD. I yeah. think I've, re I've read a Chris Crowley. And there's a before, guy's version actually. as well that's blue. 
I don't so, remember the name, but I know um, that author. And I've I've already kind of been looking through it. I think it's going to be a really good book. And and I, they're all these short little chapters. So I love I love when they're short little chapters. Yeah, you anyway. have to keep me entertained to keep me keep on reading. Yeah, if it's I, too I, long yeah. or if it, if it overwhelms me, I need <laughs> kind of the ADD. It's like you got to yeah, keep it going. It's a little bit like a cut, chop, chop. Um, okay, what about you guys? So Sandy's a yes. great letter hit home for me. So that I need to schedule time for me to find yeah. out what makes me happy again. And Good. she says, I need to get the book. I look years younger than my 60 years until I lost my son. Now I look five or more years older, which that can certainly age you for sure. Yeah. Stress, stress and, and, you know, and, and not making, you not and not putting focus on yourself. will do that. Right. So yeah, this might be a good, perfect book for you. So um, give it a try. I don't, I don't know how much it costs. I, I, it wasn't expensive. Um, let's see. Gidget, uh, love to read, but need to make more time for it. Evie right now is reading uh, Food for Our Souls. I've read that. that oh, that's Food really for Our good. Souls. That's, that's good, good Evie. Yeah. Hi, Evie. <laughs> and then... Hi, Kathy. Tracy's going to get out once a month. Good. Okay. You know, we, we, we got to start where we can, right? So, you know, that's the thing, like, when you're looking at the calendar, it's like, where can you place some time for your own personal wellness, right? We're not saying you got to make it four hours a day. Right. I mean, that's, you know, I have a girlfriend that loves to walk and loves to run. And she goes, Monica, all you need to do, just got to do two walks a day at two hours. I'm like, I don't got four hours. I can't walk four hours. I don't even have that time. And yeah, I it's like, but, but for her, you know, that, that's, that's her, her part. Thing. But I, I can't put that in my calendar. Right. So that's not possible. So we do what we can, where we can, but we should put it somewhere. So that's what we're just trying to express. Well, and and I think you're explaining this, but Vicky's saying she never makes time for herself. Yeah. She says always doing for others first. She says, do I need to change that? And I think that's yeah. kind of the premise of the letter, right? Yeah, because they yeah. said, you know, when are you are why are you making? It said in the letter, why are you making happiness or um or fun activities or something like for others, but not for yourself? You know, why are you taking the responsibilities as your priority, but not making yourself? And your wellness, the responsibility and the priority that should be in just like anything else. So balance. So I think maybe, I mean, it's like I said, it's an overall consensus. People just get busy with life. We talk about yeah. this all the time and, they, and that's just a good reminder to maybe, maybe we set that, you know, we focus in on what's that one thing we're going to do differently next week to set that little bit of yeah. time, even if it's 15 minutes. Yeah, bit, just 15 yeah. minutes. I mean, this is like all these, all these letters are for is about giving you something to ponder. It's about giving you something to consider. It's like, I like what they said. Look at your calendar. It's going to tell you exactly if you're making yourself the priority. Open up your calendar. What's your week look like? Today's Monday. Open up your calendar. What's your week look like? Are you making yourself a priority? You know, they said your calendar will give you your own answer. So, and I thought that's like, whoa, all right. Yeah. <laughs> kind of puts it right in front of your face, well, doesn't yeah. it? When you have to look at it like that. And, um, you know, and that will let you know if you are or aren't, right? So you can answer your own question. And then and Carrie said, and this is true, she says, just like a lot of things in life, the more you do something, the better you get at it. Right. And and what are they saying? They said you have become, what did they say? You become marvelous or what? No. We say you have all become very trained in utilizing and making a calendar for getting your things done, handled, accomplished. But why are you not seeing happiness as wellness and the need to get it done, handled, and accomplished? It's kind right. of that right there is kind of a powerful statement. Yeah. So and then Kathy said she says she reads all the time. She says, I ask spirit to guide me and voila, a horse is now in my life. So <laughs> there you go, right? And then let me get horse will keep you busy. I had horse will keep you busy, right? And yeah. but they're very therapeutic also, oh, right? I mean, horses are super mm -hmm. therapeutic. They're very I think telepathic. Well, they're very in tune. Very in tuned, mm -hmm. and so I mean, that's a wonderful way to, to um, to spend time. So bravo to you, fantastic. And but that's the thing; we're all going to find it differently, right? We all are going to find something, and that's the thing. It's like they said. They also said, if you don't have anything on your calendar, because you say there's nothing that builds desire within you, there isn't anything that I know that I like to do, so I don't do anything. They say, well, then your time in your calendar needs to be spent on discovering things. So call it the discovery hour and just right. look at people's um, vision boards. And they said, make a happy vision board. Like they said, make a happy board. But they talked about a vision board, but they said, you know, look at others for inspiration, make your happy board is what they called it. And, you know, and that's something that you can kind of do and start pulling from other people's ideas. So make a discovery time in your calendar. If you don't have anything that you're drawn to yet, they say, if you do make that, you will, you'll find stuff uh, seek and you shall find 
what they said. I love vision boards. Anyway. Yeah. And they said too, I love vision boards because they said vision makes you, what did they say? Vision makes you um, uh, see it or gives you emotion. What it makes they it real. That? If you makes look it at real, that, it, it connects. And, and vision boards, I recommend highly. Yeah, we very much enjoy visions mm -hmm. for it is a way for you to see. And from the scene, you can have a emotion about it. This emotion stirs up the desires, and this is how you may find more interest, and this will create a wanting within you to do them. Yeah. Right? Idea. So make a discovery time if you don't know what you want to do. Or a vision board. Or a vision board. Or, and, and even look at other people's vision boards and see if there's something, you know. And here, and let me tell you something, too. I had a client that came to me for a um, for a um, spiritual coaching session. And she's really down and she was really, you know, she'd lost her husband um, a little while ago. And um, I'd seen her before for, um, you know, a mediumship session with her husband. But um, she had reached out to me because she just was struggling a little bit. And so we did a coaching session with her. And um, I was kind of like, you know, so, you know, what, what's going on? And she was just really coming forward and saying, like, I'm not really happy. It's like I'm not doing anything that I want to do. There's no happiness. I'm not doing so. I said, what are you doing? And she explained that she was spending all of her time um, babysitting. Um, all of her time babysitting, but it was preventing her from getting out of the house. It was preventing her from um, doing, you know, other things. And um, and so I had said to her, you know, have you made a, a vision board? And she says, actually, I have. And I said, go get it. And she says, go get it. And I said, go go get it. We're on Zoom. And I said, go get it. Let me see it. And so she went and she got it. We went through it. You see her face light up because now she's looking at things, right? Mm -hmm. Like Edgar says, drawing emotions from the visions. And she's looking at these things. And I said, okay, let's talk about it. She goes, oh, exercise, like yoga. I really want to do exercise and yoga and da, da, da. And I said, well, I'm sorry, but is there a YMCA by you? And she goes, actually, yes, a brand new one. And I said, wonderful. She goes, and I've been wanting to go and check it out. And I said, well, why aren't you? It's around the corner from you, isn't it? And she says, it is. Because I happen to know where she is about and and she says yes and i said well can't you be going in there i know they have specials it's inexpensive you could do this she goes i can she says i said what else is on your board she goes oh, i want to take a vacation i want to go to the beach um i want to go to the beach and be on a vacation and i said honey you live in california you live you live in the place where people always go to go on vacation people spend a lot of money and time to come to california you got the best beaches in the world here you know some of the best beaches you're from santa barbara down to malibu and, right. and you're 12 minutes from the ocean she goes yeah, that's true. And I said, why can't you just go get a book and get it and go to the beach and hear the, you know, you can do that. Right. And then she talked about her babysitting. And I said, why can't you take them to the park? You know, you have a four year old. Why can't you take the, the little one to the park and, and have a hammock? Or the, so there's all these kind of things that we went through this whole list. And then she's like, huh, and I, this vision board that she had created that made her so happy that she wasn't doing any of it was really all at her feet. Everything that was on her vision board was something she could absolutely do that week. And it was just her making it more complicated right. for herself, you know, to say right. that the, you know, that, you know, she couldn't exercise, but there's right. YMC right there. She couldn't go to the right. beach. It's 12 miles away. She couldn't like all these things, but she could, you know, and it was just about changing your mindset that a lot of the things that you really want to do is right at your feet. And um, so we had to kind of shift her a little bit with that, you know, and then she left with a far greater understanding of, how to step in her day a little bit better. And I mean, obviously the reading went on, but, but my point is that that just reminds me a little bit of that piece right. of that, um, that spiritual coaching um, that I, I gave her. And, you know, and it was just amazing that like it almost just, everything on her vision on, board yeah, was right something there. that is right around the corner right. from her that right. she could do. And it's like, sometimes we just create these unnecessary blocks in this inability that we can do them when we really absolutely can. Exactly. So it, I guess we have to kind of ask ourselves, where's our priorities? Yeah, I mean, so yeah. I mean, that's something to think about. Gidget says what she does. She does acupuncture once a month, massage every other month, puppy time. This is it. And depending <laughs> on my boyfriend's behavior, him. <laughs> I have learned to set boundaries. <laughs> with that's the puppies funny. or with him? <laughs> so with him, okay. if he's being good. Okay. I, and I, you know what? I understand you, girlfriend. I do get it. <laughs> You're funny. I like. I like her. <laughs> She's funny. And that's great. Yeah, okay, Kathy just basically all change, you know, changing the mindset, which we've talked, you've talked about a lot. Yeah. Right? Well, all, yeah, because Edgar talks about it a lot, oh, right? Yeah. Yep. Edgar's all. I mean, they keep, they keep, they that, keep showing. They there's keep, a pattern. They keep having a similar pattern. Yeah. Um, they just give us different visions. True. You noticed? Yes. You know, they just keep giving us different visions to put our focus on to mm -hmm. stir the emotion, right? Right, Because this vision might attract you a little bit and get you like, oh, I needed that, oh, that makes sense. You know, yeah, so they true. just keep showing up with different visions for us 
um, but it's a lot of the same similar oh, no, there's a there's pattern. patterns that yeah. they keep like here it is again yep. but we're showing it to you looking different here yep. it is again yep. they just dress it up in a different gown <laughs> yeah. good letter good letter <laughs> okay monica says you're so good at helping you and helping do this and then yes you are very good at the coaching and thank all you. of that oh very thank good. you thank you okay thank you kathy miss you good luck Oh, that's for you, I think, Kathy. Yeah. Kathy said, oh, sweet. Okay, good. Um, okay, so so that was that. I have some quotes to go with today. Um, let's see, is there anybody that has any comments for me or anything? Oh, I think we're caught up. Unless caught somebody up? has any questions while you're doing the quotes, and if they do, I'll, okay. I'll let you know what they okay, are. If you guys have any now. questions, okay. let us know. All right, so here's a couple quotes, because you know I love them. Okay. No one is too busy in this world. It's all about priorities. Either run the day or the day runs you. Jim Rowan. Healthy habit. Unplug and disengage one hour a day. I define joy as a sustained sense of well-being and internal peace. A connection to what really matters. Oprah. If you do not make time for your wellness, you will be forced to make time for your illness. Nourishing yourself in a way that helps you blossom in the direction you want to go is attainable and you are worth the effort. That's my favorite. That's a good one. That's my favorite. I want to read that one again. Yeah, I love it. It's good. Nourishing yourself in a way that helps you blossom in the direction you want to go is attainable and you are worth it. You are worth the effort. Um, I love that one. I don't know who it's from, but I, I love it. That was that really hit home for me. Um, I love that one. Um, okay, and here's the last one. When you start taking care of yourself, you start feeling better. You start looking better. And you start to attract better. It all starts with you. That's very true. And there we go, right? That's Good about quotes. making yourself the priority. You know, and really, guys, isn't it really up to us? I mean, if you really think about it, like Edgar was saying, like you hold the calendar, you hold the pen and it's your day. So really it's up to us. We got that power. So it's really at some point, a little bit of our response, uh, how we can find time. And like they said, you know, if we're tired when we come home, then do it before the day starts, you know, know yourself enough to know when you can give to yourself at the best time. You know, I'm a morning person, so I, I do am, it in the morning. I am too. Yeah. I, if, yeah, I, I won't too. do it at seven at night. Yeah. I, I just, well, I'm, I'm already in my pajamas. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it at seven at night. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> so, but I know that about me. So you know, you should know you. So don't set yourself up for failure. Set yourself up for success. So set yourself up to be your greatest achievement. You know, by giving to yourself. Um, they love the quote. So I'm gonna yeah. assume you're gonna post them, right? Like you always do. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I can. Yep, I can. No real questions. I wrote them down. I just really like the letter the quote. So. Okay, good. So, all right, guys. So, I just wanted to chime in. Thanks for stopping in on my neck on my letters from spirit. Um, and um, we are getting into the holidays as it's coming in. So, we'll have to see how all of this is going to work out moving into the holidays um, as we're entering into November. But we will be here November. We'll, we'll be here next week um, for letters from spirit. Love for you guys to check out my uh, short stories on Thursday night, where there'll be like little fifteen minute segments. Um, of just sharing a little bit of a piece of a story to help you understand the beauty of loved ones on the other side and how they come forward in all the different ways and how everyone needs something different. And the stories are really, um, you know, unique to each person. And, um, but I think that you'll be touched by them. Um, I'm I know I was, to it. I I'm know I'm, I'm always touched by every reading I give, um, every reading that I do, I am touched. And there's a piece that lifts my heart as well. When I give a reading that, touches and lifts a client. Um, I guess you can't help because when you're delivering the messages and it's coming through you, you can't help but feel it, right? You can't, you can't help but um, feel it. And so it, it always impacts me too. And so anyway, um, so maybe I'll see you uh, uh, Thursday night at five o'clock here on Facebook for my short stories. And if not, then maybe Monday again for my next Letters from Spirit. Okay, I don't know what the topic's gonna be yet. We'll see. We'll see what it's always a surprise. All right. So anyway, okay, guys. Um, you guys have an amazing week, and uh, try to fill those calendars. 
uh, doing fun things for yourself, okay? So uh, try to make that a priority this week and just try. Try to see if you can add at least something this week for you guys and uh, make it a point to try to move with these teachings uh, to help make your life um, a little more lifted and something for yourself, okay? So bye guys okay. <laughs> i'll be on i'll be joining you guys as well probably yeah. thursday while i'm on the road and of course on monday so i'm not really leaving and yes to Gia. love you girl love you so too. happy for you okay see you bye bye